Welcome everyone, in this video we will solve an inclined plane question from a physics olympiad, a Turkish physics olympiad. I will attach the original paper in the descriptions part, so let's get started with the question. In the question we are given an inclined plane, as you might guess. So this is the inclination that we have. And there will be a pulley system. These are massless and frictionless pulleys, so the question might be relatively easier to solve. On one end of the pulley, there will be a mass of 10 m. On the other hand, on the other hand, we will have another pulley. Now that's interesting. And then connected to that pulley, we will have a mass of 5 m. The other rope is just tied to a wall like this. This angle is theta. We are given that theta is equal to 37 degrees. And for this question, since students are asked to do all of the questions by hand without any calculator, we will have some simple numbers. For example, G, the gravitational field strength, will be 10 meters per second squared. It is normally 9.81 meters per second squared. We just round it up so that it is easier to deal with. There will be a uh, coefficient of friction between 5m and the incline. That friction coefficient is mu and its value is 1 over 4. Also, another simplification is that we can have this triangle this is a 90 degrees angle. This is 37 degrees. The opposite is 3, this is 4, and this is 5. So what I'm saying is you can assume that sine 37 degrees is 3 over 5 and cosine 37 degrees is 4 over 5. This will help with the calculations. You don't need to assume this, assume this but if you don't, you need a calculator, which we don't have. Now the question is, this system is released from rest and after 6 seconds, so when, when t equals 6 seconds, what is the speed of the 10m mass? What is the speed of v10m, let's say, when time is equal to 6 seconds? You can pause the video and give it a go. When you're ready, do it together. Let's do it together. All right, I assume that you gave it a go and now you're ready to see the solution to solve it together. Whenever you're dealing with a mechanics problem like this, the best way, and I mean the best way to start the question is by drawing the forces that act on all the objects. Here we have two objects. So the free body diagram of the 5M object would be there is... 5 mg downwards, of course, there is the normal force by the incline and it is perpendicular to the incline. That is this angle between the projection of N and the weight is theta. Okay, you can see it from geometry here. Let me undo it. This is 90 degrees minus theta. That means this angle is theta. Cool. Then the rope will be pulling the object up the incline. So we call the force by the, by the rope T tension. So we have T right like that. And these are massless pulleys, massless ropes. So all the tensions are the same for all the points on the same rope. In the other direction of tension, there will be a frictional force, which we can call F. And it will in fact be a kinetic friction because the object will be moving. That's why actually this coefficient of friction is also a kinetic coefficient of friction. All right, this is all for, uh, for 5M for now. Let's move on to 10M, FD free body diagram of 10M. So how is it going to be? 
Well, of course, there will be 10 mg downwards, the weight of our object. Upwards, there will be a tension. Now, what will, what will the tension be? Will it be T? Not quite. It will be 2T. And you can see it from the fact that we have two ropes here. They combine so that here we have 2T. And since this is a massless spring, massless, uh, not a spring, excuse me, massless rope and massless pulley, all the tensions on the same rope is the same. So we have 2T here. All right. Now, with that said, we want to make another powerful statement and then use Newton laws to write force equations. The other powerful statement is that this is a pulley system. And in this kind of a system, you can't gain work. What I'm trying to say is the amount of work that you put in from here should exit from here. Since work is force times distance, that means if we call this object one and this guy object two, that means the force on the, syst uh, on the object one by the pulley is 2t times we will have x1, the displacement of object one, the instantaneous displacement of object one. This should equal, this should equal the work that is outputted on the second object. So what is the force on it by the system of pulleys? It is T, the tension, and then it will travel a distance of X2, let's say. So we get that 2X1 equals X2. Take the time derivative of this once, you get that 2V equals 2V1 equals V2, and take the time derivative again, you get that 2A1 equals A2. That is, if we call... Let's see, if we call A1 A, this means the acceleration here is A, but the acceleration here is going to be 2A. Okay, I hope this makes sense. This is incredibly important for our problem. And I will in fact erase this part so that we will have enough space to work with. Now let's write the force equations. We are set to go. We are ready to do. Ready to go. I start with the 10 m object, object one, and also this is the positive direction, and for the 5 m, the corner system is like this. I try to choose the direction of the acceleration to be positive, so that I don't need to worry about a negative signs. All right, so from the 10m object, we see that 10mg minus 2t equals, this is the net force, should equal mass times the acceleration. What is the mass? It is 10m. What is the acceleration? It is A. Now, moving on with the other object, we will have two equations that we can write. One for the y, one for the x. From the y, let's do it here. We know that there won't be a there won't be an acceleration in the y. It won't move perpendicular to the incline. So we can say n should equal 5mg. What is the perpendicular component of 5mg? That is just cosine of theta. I mean, when you have cosine of theta, you get the perpendicular component. So from the x direction for 5m object, we will have the tension minus... 5mg sine of theta, then a minus the force of kinetic friction. What is the force of kinetic friction? It is the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. All right? And this should equal, this should equal mass times acceleration. What is the mass? It is 5m. What is the acceleration? It isn't A. We discussed this. It is 2A. So we have 2A. So far so good? I hope so. Now I'm going to write this equation below uh, this guy. Below this one. So when I do that, we will have T minus 5mg sine of theta minus. Well, actually, you know what? Let's substitute for. Oh, well, uh, should we do it now? Let's, let's do it now. 
So what was sine of theta? It was 3 over 5. Right here, we said it. 3 over 5. Minus, what is mu k? It is given as, by the question, 1 over 4 times 5 mg. What is cosine of theta? It is 4 over 5. This is going to equal uh, 5 times 2, 10 ma. Now, I will add these equations side by side, but I want to get rid of the tension because it is an unknown. We can easily get rid of it by multiplying the second equation by 2. So we have 2, 2, 2, and this becomes 20. All right. Now we can add, add them up. As we just hope, uh, two t's cancel. That was our goal. That's nice. So we have 10 mg. And then let's see. Let's see. These fives cancel. So we have minus 6 mg. Here, this fives cancel. These fours cancel. So minus 2 mg equals 20 plus 10, 30 and a messes cancel that's always nice on the left then we have 10 minus 8 2g equaling 30a so the acceleration is going to be equal to 2g divided by 30 and what was uh, g i said it here it is 10 so we have 20 divided by 3 that is three. Uh, that is two over three meters per second squared. We are not done though. We are not done yet because we are asked to find the velocity when time equals six seconds. Well, it will be very easy after this because we know that since this is uniformly accelerated motion, the velocity at any time equals the initial velocity plus the acceleration times time. The system was released from rest. So the initial velocity is zero. That means the velocity at time six seconds equals the acceleration. And the acceleration of the 10 amp, we just found it. It is A. If we were being asked to find the speed of 5 amp, we would use 2A to be the acceleration. But we are interested in 10 amp right now. So the acceleration is 2 over 3 times the time value is 6, so we get 4 meters per second as our final answer. This is the speed. What is the velocity? We just add the direction. It is downwards. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.